Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. In this video, we're going to be talking about cue points, also known as locators, in Mixvibe's Cross DJ. Cue points allow you to jump between different locations in a track. In Cross DJ, cues are referred to as locators and have their own panel. Now, by default, this panel is hidden, so you need to go ahead and open it up. By clicking on this button, you'll see that a panel opens underneath each deck that allows you to assign eight hot cue points to each track. To add a locator, simply click on an unassigned locator button. You'll see that it adds a colored cue marker on the particular track that you have added it to, and it also will display the timing of that particular locator. By default, the locator will tell you where it is in time, but what if you want to use a cue point to indicate where a breakdown is? Well, to do that, we can go ahead and rename that particular locator. So all you have to do is hover over the number of the particular locator that you want to rename. You'll see then that the number turns into an arrow. Simply click on it and then select rename. You can then go ahead and call it something like break to indicate that that is where the breakdown occurs. You'll also notice that the time location goes away. So if you want to make sure that that's there, you have to include it in the new name. To remove a locator, simply click the X button next to an assigned queue, and that will delete it. Another cool thing about queue points is that you can use them to save loops. So if I go ahead and create an automatic four beat loop here, I can then go ahead and click on a unassigned queue, and here you'll see that now I have saved this particular loop as a locator. If you'd like to learn more about Mixed Vibes Cross DJ, check out youtube.com slash thedjpodcast or thedjpodcast.com. Thanks for watching.